All right, we the Hebrew Israelites come out weekend. We gotta prophesy the downfall of America. All right, to wake up the elect of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American descent on your father's side. That's the only side that count. All right, to the fact that you are the true biblical Israelites. All right, and that who you're looking called Jesus Christ. According to the Bible, only came to say the Israelites, and that's it. Everybody else, he didn't come from them. All right, and to proclaim and filter all this, uh, all the stuff that's happening in the news through the scriptures. All right, showing you what time we in. All right, so that if you are the elect, you repent and you can receive salvation. We want to start giving all praises to Yahweh by Shemal Shai. Double honor to the the great millstone taught us his truth. Excuse me, and Shalom to all the Akim out there pushing the truth and sincerity. Alright, let's start out with um Give me uh Luke 24 and 19. Alright. Like we always like to do, we like to go in about the signs of the time. Alright, because who you really call Jesus Christ, he spoke about what's happening now. I right? gave you similar to look look to. Alright, a similar to is like a an example, alright, to convey the message. Alright, and he gave you the example of the days of Noah. So he said prior to his second return, it was gonna be like the days of Noah. That's what we're gonna touch on today. Alright? Chapter 24, verse 19. Uh -huh. And he said unto them, What things? And they said unto him, Concerning Yahweh Shah Nazareth, which was a prophet mighty in deed and in word before the, the Most High and all the people. That's right, so he was a prophet. Alright? And the Lord spoke through the prophets. Alright? Go to uh, Jeremiah 20, verse 79. All right, and anytime the prophet spoke, all right, through the spirit of the Lord, this is what they was coming with. All right, let's see what the scriptures say the prophet spoke of. Jeremiah chapter 28, verse 7. Nevertheless, hear thou now this word that I speak in thy ear. Yeah. And it hears of all thy people. The prophets that have been before me, before you have You're going to have to lift it up because all this traffic. Both prophets are both against many countries. And against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. So the prophets, who really called Jesus Christ, this is what he was speaking about. Alright? Wars, evils, and pestilence. Alright? He wasn't talking about peace and safety and all that stuff. But yet, yeah, hold that, go to Matthew 10 and 34. Let's see what the Lord was speaking about. Alright? Because we get tired of you 501c3 charter pastors in these churches pushing them lies out, talking about the Lord came for everybody and peace and, and, and safety for every person. What the scriptures say otherwise, say that the Lord coming back to kill people. We're going to get it from his mouth. Read that. Matthew chapter uh, 10, verse 34. Yeah. Think not that I come to send peace on earth. I come not to send peace, but a sword. So he really called Jesus Christ. He spoke about the sword. Now, a sword is a killing instrument. All right, so the Lord didn't come for peace. He's coming with the sword. All right? Go to Luke 12 and 49. All right? Your poor chop eating pastor, that abomination in that three-piece abominable soup, all right? That demon up there, he ain't going to tell you the truth. He never tell you the truth, all right? Because he wants your money. So to hell with him and to hell with all you simple-ass people that listen to him. Luke chapter 12, verse 49. I am come to send fire on earth. The Lord said he come to send fire on the earth. So he said he coming to bring the sword and he coming to bring fire. All right? Both are elements that can, can cause death and harm and destruction in large amounts, key reader. And what will I if it be already kindled? Yeah, and even back then the Lord wanted the Roman Empire to be destroyed. All right? Them Romans were a bunch of perverted, uh, uh, demonic people. All right, and America fashioned itself 
after the ways of them Greeks and them Romans. So what you think the Lord, his, his what, what, what spirit you think he'll still be in? He'll still be in that same spirit where he want this place set ablaze. Because it's an abomination. Okay? Keep reading. Uh, but I but I have a baptism to be baptized with. So even then the Lord wanted the Roman Empire to be destroyed. Alright? But he had to hold back because he had to fulfill the prophecy of him being crucified for the nation of Israel. Not everybody. Okay? And it wasn't even for all Israel, it was for the elect of Israel. Keep reading. So he had to hold back. But even then he wanted that place to be destroyed. And he wanted all them wicked ass niggas to be destroyed that was bucking up against them. The same niggas that buck up against us to the day. When we teach the word, keep reading. And how am I uh, uh, straightened till it be accomplished? Uh-huh. Suppose ye that I come to send peace on earth, I tell you, nay, but rather the vision. Okay. So the Lord, that's in red. The Lord said, you think that he's coming with peace? He tell you nay. That means no in old English. He coming to bring division. So where where is this this so called doctrine that your porch I've even passed to be talking about? We say everybody gonna come together. God loves everybody. When we really call Jesus Christ, He just said He coming to bring division and the sword and fire. You people don't read your Bible. Amos chapter five verse eighteen. Yeah. Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. Woe means lamentation. Grief, death, and destruction to everybody that's supposedly looking for the day of the Lord. They don't have no understanding of what the day of the Lord is. And that 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 fits you Catholics, that fits you Baptists, you non-denomination, uh, so-called Christians, uh, you Islamic niggas, you uh anybody that's saying they looking forward to the day of the Lord and they don't have no understanding of what it is. Destruction unto you, man. Because you're going to be destroyed. Alright? You're going to find in that day that image that, that everybody cherished so damn much. That ain't the Lord. Okay? And more of these pastors got, are going to die horrific deaths, either in car accidents, in these storms. They're going to perish in these famines. Go to Jeremiah 14 and 10. They're going to perish in these famines. Alright? Because we get tired of these pastors down here in the south. These, these chucking and jiving bootleg pastors, all right? They're a bunch of demons. So the Lord going to X them out real soon. Uh, Jeremiah chapter 14, verse 10. Thus saith the Lord unto this people, thus have they loved to wonder, they have not refrained their feet. Talking about our people, you so-called Negroes, you Latinos, and you Native Americans. Therefore, the Lord doeth not accept them. That's why he ain't going to accept two-thirds of our people. That, that's a large percentage. So we already know before we step out here, all right, if, we, if any so-called Negro, Latino, Native American man or woman come up here, it's a high percentage that they ain't going to get it. They're going to buck up. They're going to say something jazzy. They're going to say something whenever they walk off. All right, they're going to smirk. They're going to scoff because it ain't for them. It's going to be a small percentage that clings to this. All right, but all that's set up for their judgment. All right, because when all hell breaks loose, what the scriptures speak of, this time that's going to be the worst time ever, they ain't going to say, well, I never knew this. I never heard this. Nobody didn't tell me. They always had an opportunity. All right, keep reading. You will now remember their iniquity. Uh-huh. And visit their sins. Yep. Then said the Lord unto me, pray not for this people. So the Lord told Jeremiah not to pray for the children of Israel. All right? And we be in that same spirit too because we see you niggas. All right? You Latin niggas. You powwow drumming niggas. And you simple ass niggas. We see all y'all, man. We, we be around you. All right? We live around you. And we see you. And you niggas is wicked, man. Okay? But you be the main one screaming out you love the Lord. You be the main one that get the... the Big old Cedric Bourgier tattoo on your arm because that's who you worship. That ain't the Lord. All right? We all right? Or you wear that big old medallion, that, that Tifa Tamus. All right? You got the biggest Mother Mary 